Hello everybody, one more time. My name is Alex Centeno with Mercados Interactive Partners. And in this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at how to use a specific texture. In this case, we're using metal. Um, how to use a specific texture uh, to apply it to the body of a person. We received that uh, through our comments in our YouTube channel. And so we decided to tackle that one this time. Um, so basically what I have here is uh, the final product of what we're going to be uh, doing today. Uh, and basically, as you can see, it's just the figure of a man and it has the texture of metal. And so that's pretty much what we're going to be taking a look at today. But before we start, we have to take a look at our sponsor for today, Mercals.com. Let's take a look. All right, so Mercados is uh, located in, in the Research Triangle area in North Carolina, and our focus is to help businesses of all sizes make more money through the use of strategic website design, custom digital media development, and web marketing. For more information, you can contact us at 888-525-8117 or visit us on the web at mercados.com. Again, that number is 888-525-8117 or on the web at mercados.com. Great. All right. So this is pretty much what we're doing. Uh, the first part that we're going to be uh, tackling is coming up with the actual uh, metal texture. So we're going to make our own metal texture as opposed to downloading one from the web, but you can do that too if, uh, if uh, you rather have a, a texture that, uh, that you've seen on the web, or you can even take a photo of a texture that you see uh, in, uh, you know, in the real world. So, uh, so let's, let's get to it. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove everything that I have here so that we start from, uh, from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all this. And I'm left with this, which I'm going to replace with an empty layer so that we can uh, pretty much do from scratch. So empty layer, I'm going to fill it with any color. Black is fine. And I'm going to uh, double click on the layer itself. That brings up my layer style panel. And I am going to go to the gradient overlay here. And I am going to click on the gradient itself. Okay, so in the gradient itself, um, I have already uh, a prepared gradient that looks like metal. Uh, but I'm going to teach you how to do this, um, which is basically using color really close to white. In this case, I'm using F3, F3, F3 in the hexadecimal. So really close to white and then something more of a gray. A4, A4, A4 in this case. All right, and as you can see, I have transitions to each one of the colors iterating from one to another. And the only thing that is important here to see is that I am starting with the same color that I am ending. That's the only thing that you have to pay attention to. Of course, you can decide how many of these repetitions you make. Uh, and uh, it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty simple, the process. So if you drag them and pull them, you can see that you get rid of them. Right, what I'm gonna do is make the first one, the first two, and then just copy from there on. I'm uh, pressing the Option key and dragging with my mouse. So I stand on top of this little icon here, press Option, click and drag, and that's all I'm doing really. So, of course, I'm copying in an iterating fashion here. All right. And that's pretty much it. Then you organize them. And just make sure that you start with the same color that you end. And that's pretty much it. Hit OK. And, of course, we don't want it in a linear way. We actually want to change it to an angle. All right. And so we take a look. It actually starts from the center, goes out looking exactly like metal. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit okay. 
Second part of this is create an, another layer, uh, fill it out with uh, a gray color, any gray is fine. Um, but uh, we're gonna create the noise for this. And so for that, we're going to use black and white. So you can click the default here, or you can press D on your keyboard to change the default colors here. And we're gonna go to filters, noise, add noise. Uh, and here I can, uh, I, I, I've seen that 20% is a good amount for this effect, but uh, you can test with different amounts if you want. Uh, we're gonna be using Gaussian type of distribution and also monochromatic because if you don't click this, you can see that you have color noise and we don't want that. We just need the monochromatic. 20% Gaussian, hit OK. And then filter. So we're going to select blur and then radial blur. Uh, we're going to set our amount to 100 and the blur method is going to be spin with the best quality possible and hit OK. That of course is going to set our noise because we're, we've selected our noise layer here. That's where we're applying the effect. And so it's going to rotate our pixels, making it look round. And so if now we change this from normal mode to overlay. We're going to see that we have this layer overlaying on the bottom one, but it's barely visible. So I'm going to change here with Command M to bring the curves panel for that layer. Of course, I'm still in the top layer here. I'm going to increase the contrast. So S type curve to increase contrast. And as I increase the contrast, you can see that indeed becomes more evident, the effect. So hit OK. Now we have our metal. So that's pretty good. And now we need to get our model. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring, um, and let me go ahead and pull here, um, uh, the image that I'm gonna be using for this. So I've prepared an image in advance. I'm not gonna go into details of masking because we've done that in other video tutorials here on YouTube. So, um, if you want to learn more about how to mask, how to do masking properly, then you can check out one of those videos. And so basically all I have here is, is just a regular mask. So I had an image of a guy and then I am removing his background. And so I'm left with a uh, mask of a, of a guy here. And this is what we're going to be using uh, to texturize. So, here, what we're going to do is turn off this layers in the background so that we only have him in the entire composition. And we're going to go back to the channels pane here. As you can see, I had him here before. I call this layer mask guy. So I am going to go ahead and get rid of, of that. And I am going to create a copy of the layer that has the most amount of contrast. In this case, all of them are the same. So I'm just going to take the red, drag it, and drop it in this new icon here, effectively creating a duplicate of the red channel that I'm going to call Mask Guy. All right, and I'm going to increase the contrast of this guy. S-curve type. That's okay. And that's pretty much it. Then I'm going to select our RGB colors here. And... Uh, just leave it there unchecked for now. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to apply the mask to this. So um, let's go ahead and duplicate this guy. And um, I'm going to turn them off. Turn back on this layer and this layer. I'm going to create a combination of these two layers. So I'm going to click here for a new layer. I'm going to rename it combo so that we know. And I am going to select these two layers combined in this layer. And to do that, I'm gonna select the two layers that I wanna combine. While I'm pressing Option, I'm gonna come here to the right icon and then Merge Visible. Let's undo that because it didn't work. Uh, 
WordPress here, merge layers. Okay, so basically, let me just get rid of the combo then. It creates the combo for me, the combo layer without me having to create it in the top layer. So, so there you go. So now we have layer one and two combined in a combo layer. And again, to do that, let me just go ahead and, and repeat that. So select the two layers, option key, icon here, merge visible. That creates my layer three, which we're gonna rename combo. Great stuff. So now that I have the combo layer, I'm gonna go to filter, render, lighting effects. All right, lighting effects, it's looking good. But as you can see here, I have, I can, of course, texturize it with nothing, so I can select the different lights that I want here. And what I've done is just a combination of, uh, of two lights here. One that is a little yellow, and one that is just silver style. I'm increasing the metal here, but that's pretty much it. I mean, they are... Uh, you know, with increased metal, but really like uh, just traditional lights, in this case are spotlights. Uh, and that's pretty much it. But the important thing here is the texture because we're gonna be selecting our mask, the one that we prepared in advance, which is a mask guy, mask guy. And then there you have it. The effect is pretty much complete at this point. So we're gonna hit okay. All right, so now we're gonna now that this combo layer has this, so we're gonna move him on top here, turn on this guy, and then this we're gonna to set to overlay. And as you can see, now we can see not only the background, but also we can see the guy in the bottom, see? And that improves the contrast to the sides of the guy, so we can see the guy a little bit better. All right, cool. If we wanted to give more of a top layer, we could also set this one to overlay, the one on the top. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of it though. All right, so now that we're here, I'm gonna create another layer. And this time I'm just gonna use white and black to help with the uh, burning and dodging. So normal overlay. And now with black, I'm gonna paint with just a soft brush and uh, let's say 50% opacity here. And I'm going to paint with a normal brush in the parts that I really want to increase the burning effect. You know, the parts that are darker, that I want to be darker. All right. There you go. And we're gonna do the same thing with white this time. In this case, of course, what we're looking for is to do the opposite, which is dodging or lightening certain areas of the image to make them look more like metal. All right. Um, let's select the combo layer, finally, give it filter, render, lens flare. Uh, position it in a place that you feel like might be a little reflective. The arm, you can see that now that it looks a lot more like metal because metal tends to be very, very reflective. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, this is, uh, you know, a guy that looks a little bit more like metal than before. Uh, the last touch that you can do definitely is to increase sharpness uh, to taste. Yeah, but um, that's pretty much it. Like the effect is exactly done by, by that way, by that combination of techniques. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, this technique is not going to serve you very well for certain types of textures like uh, wood. Uh, or like water, for example, because w water is extremely difficult to actually texturize in the shape of something else, as it is in the real world, right? Um, so probably you would use other techniques for this as opposed to using this technique. But when it's a solid 
and it's something that usually can be bent like metal, then this technique would help you do exactly that. So hopefully this has been helpful. And if you have any comments or questions, just let us know in our YouTube channel box below in the comments box. Uh, again, my name is Alex Centeno with Mercados Interactive Partners. Check us out and uh, have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.